Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm Baxter Bell. I have three quick requests for you and then we'll get right into our video practice for today. Number one, please check out my website, baxterbell.com, where you can find access to my online yoga classes. You can find opportunities to dive deeper into your yoga learning and you can find more free content. Number two, please reach out to me personally at Baxter at BaxterBell.com if you'd like to set up a one-on-one -on -one session to improve your overall yoga practice or if you'd like to address any health issues that you have with yoga therapy. Number three, if you enjoy this video and you find it helpful, please like it when you're done. That would be really helpful. So that's it. Let's uh, take a look at what our practice for today is. Today's yoga practice is going to involve tree pose, but we're going to add a little bit of an extra little factor in to make it a little more interesting. Um, this might be considered a cognitive distracting um, drill in that we're not just doing the basic pose, but we're adding something else that we have to pay attention to. And you may find that that actually makes the balancing in the tree pose easier than if you weren't using the prop. So you need a block of some sort. I'm using a kind of lightweight cork block, but you can use heavier cork blocks or plastic blocks. And uh, you might just, in mountain pose, take a moment to place the block on the crown of your head. Remember, don't lift your chin up. Keep your chin kind of neutral when you do this. And then just kind of balance that for a moment and see if you can remove the hands and keep the block on your head. So we're just getting used to what that feels like to have the block on the head in an easy position with both feet on the ground before we try doing our tree pose. So let's go ahead and bring our weight onto the right leg. Remember, you have choices for where you put your left foot. It can be a uh, heel on the, above the ankle bone with your toes on the floor. You could bring the foot up onto the calf. You could have the heel just above the knee. Or those of you that are more um, open in the hips could have the heel up a little bit higher. So once you've got that set, let's go ahead and take the block and place it on the crown of the head and see if we can find that spot. If you lose it, try to bring your foot down first before you go running after the block and then move your hands a little bit away from uh, the block to see how your balance is doing. You could take your arms up and out to the sides. And although you're going to lose my hands in the screen for a moment, you could also take the arms straight up towards the ceiling. You want to keep your gaze steady, try to work the legs strongly as you would in regular tree pose, but also have some awareness of the block on your head. So you're noticing if it's wobbling at all, or if you might need to bring your hands down closer to it. And then after about a half a minute or so, go ahead and grab the block off your head and bring your foot down to the floor and take a moment just to take a nice easy breath in and out. Let's do the second side now. So we're going to go ahead and shift your weight onto the other leg. I like to, again, bring the foot up into tree pose. I have a, a history of some um, ankle sprains in this ankle, so it tends to be my more challenging the side. So we'll see how that plays out today. And again, you can place your foot anywhere that works nicely for you, but you want to get those legs nice and steady. And then take the block and carefully place it on the crown of the head. Take a moment before you remove your hands to see if it feels very steady. And then once you're ready, you can go ahead and take the arms out to the side. You can take them directly out to your side. You could have your hands on your hips. You could take your arms up and overhead towards the sky. So being playful with that position, oop, there goes the sliding block. So you can sense it, sometimes catch it before it goes down and then reposition it and try to balance again. Ooh, I'm listening to the side today on this second side. All right. Let's try one more breath here. Ah, that's a little steadier spot. Good. Now let's reach down, grab the block, remove it from the head, and bring your foot down. Shake out anything that needs shaking out. So as you could see on my second side, um, sometimes things are a little bit different from side to side. And <clears throat> I think perhaps because there was a little bit more unsteadiness on my other ankle, that allowed for that block to be a little less stable in the head. Requires a little more concentration and focus. So give that a try. Tree pose with a block on the head. Try that in your home practice this week. See what you think. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and YouTube at Baxter Bell Yoga. Come join me for a live streaming yoga class sometime real soon. And thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.